Hi everyone, Libby here at Touch of Happiness Massage. Today we're talking about anal sex and more specifically how to make it less painful. I know a lot of you out there are fans of all things anal and you already quite enjoy a bit of anal play as part of your healthy sex life. But many people avoid anal sex because it's been painful in the past. Perhaps you're curious to try anal sex with your partner, but you're hitting a little pain barrier after those first one to two inches of penetration. A client recently asked me about how to overcome this pain point and enjoy anal sex, which is actually something I hear a lot from clients and friends. So in this video, I'm going to outline all the little tips and tricks I've learned over the years, both as a giver and receiver of anal penetration. So anal sex or anal play of any kind can be a really enjoyable part of a healthy sex life, but is never something you should feel pressured into. Some people really enjoy it, and for others it just it doesn't do much for them. It's a bit meh. Some people love to give, some people prefer to receive, others are really happy to switch. Um, wherever you are on that kind of spectrum, this video will give you some ideas to bring a little bit more relaxation and pleasure to your anal experiences. So let's get started. So I have a couple of suggestions on what you can do um, before you're having anal sex with a partner that will reduce the likelihood of pain and increase pleasure in the moment. You could think of it like this. Um, compare anal sex to uh, you and your partner wanting to run a marathon together. Um, you wouldn't just turn up on the day and expect that you could run the whole way around um, in a good time. No, you would probably do some training beforehand to prepare yourself for that event. And uh, some of that training would be on your own and perhaps some of it would be with your friend. So anal sex is no different to running a marathon. If you don't already include anal play in your solo sex or self-pleasure experiences, then it's just way more likely that you'll experience pain when um, a partner is penetrating you. So including regular anal massage with fingers, with toys, um, during masturbation and self-pleasure makes it easier when you're with your partner. Even just um, inserting a little finger into your ass during your morning shower can be a good start. Getting used to that feeling of maybe deeper penetration when you are in charge of the speed, the depth, and um, the size of the object penetrating you is a, it's a, just a great way to build familiarity with the sensations and you can train your body how to relax in the moment. So this is an interesting question. Does your partner have any idea how it actually feels to be penetrated? I've said this in videos before, I personally do not trust anyone to put anything in my ass if they have never had anything in their own ass. So if your partner doesn't already enjoy receiving as well as giving anal stimulation, then I would I just really encourage you to discuss that. Um, it will build empathy for you both and make them far more skillful and present to what you are experiencing doesn't need to descend into full-blown pegging, which is where a female partner wears a strap on and penetrates her male partner, if your male partner isn't comfortable with that. But I suggest, at the very minimum, some external anal massage and penetration with one to three gloved fingers. So things to consider during anal sex. Preparation. If you experience pain during that initial part of anal sex, it could be because you're not taking enough time to prepare. If you're just trying to shove a cock or dildo in there straight away with no warm-up, then um, it's not surprising it hurts. The muscles are not relaxed, there's limited arousal and therefore less blood flow to the area to help the tissues feel supple and soft. Um, I recommend that you spend at least 20 to 30 minutes on anal massage before moving to penetration um, with a penis or dildo. It's like 
again, stretching before you run. For anal massage, um, start by working on relaxing the hips, the butt cheeks, thighs. Then you can introduce some external anal massage to relax the pelvic floor muscles and the external sphincter. Then you can start by inserting one gloved finger and applying gentle stretches in a sort of crisscross movement. Maybe move to two fingers, three, maybe even up to four fingers, um, which is probably a bit thicker than uh, the average cock. Um, if you click on the link in the video description below, you can sign up to my mailing list and you'll get a free PDF guide to anal massage techniques to help you with that. At this point, um, after some massage, you could maybe introduce a small butt plug whilst your, butt, your partner plays with your pussy for a while. Um, some nice slow oral with a butt plug in um, can be a great way to get you a bit aroused um, whilst helping those uh, sphincters um, of the, the anus to relax. The second thing to consider during anal sex is your breathing. So generally when we experience pain, we contract and stop breathing to try and avoid the pain, which is very natural. But it's also a bit counterproductive during anal sex because you don't want your muscles to be contracted. So there are two sphincters within the rectum. The first is under your conscious control, so you can contract it or relax it. Um, think about what you do when you're trying to hold in a, a fart, right? You're consciously contracting that muscle. The second sphincter is not under your voluntary control. So it relaxes when your nervous system is in a relaxed state. And that happens every time you exhale. So focusing on the breath and letting the exhale be long and slow will help that second sphincter relax and open up. As the receiving partner, focus on exhaling through your mouth so your jaw is relaxed. And that has a knock-on effect down through your chest, your belly, and into your pelvis. As the giving partner, it's important for you to stay relaxed as well and connected to your breath. Communication during anal sex is essential. Once you're all warmed up from the massage, the fingers, maybe the butt plug, the penetrating partner needs to go in really slowly. The receiving partner needs to communicate as soon as there is pain. And at that point, the penetrating partner just holds still. So you, you don't go deeper, you don't pull out. The receiving partner then can just focus on relaxing. Relax the belly, relax the pussy, the pelvic floor, butt cheeks, kind of whole lower body. I often feel a lot of emotion at this stage. But rather than panicking and tightening my body up, um, I practice to open up to the emotion and let myself soften. It takes presence and patience from the penetrating partner and a certain level of trust and willingness to surrender from the receiving partner. So making sound really helps with this. Um, when you're holding tension in your body, it will relax and release way more easily if you allow yourself to make some long sort of ah, ah sounds. Just e express whatever is there in your body. It really, really helps. An important consideration to make sure that anal sex is not painful is the position that you're in. My favorite and I find most relaxing position for anal sex is with the receiving partner lying on the belly with a cushion under the hips to sort of slightly elevate the pelvis. Pulling one knee up to the side from here can also feel good. And um, the receiving partner can reach back and sort of spread the butt cheeks or the penetrating partner can do it, which also it kind of just helps to open up the, the anal sphincters and relax the pelvic floor muscles. I find that being on top as the receiving partner means there's a lot of tension in your thighs and pelvis, which I don't find optimal, but some people prefer this as they're in control of the speed and the depth of the penetration. Lying on your back in happy baby, so uh, 
yoga pose can be nice as well but for me this gets a little bit straining on the hips spooning is a good option um, if you want to focus on shallower penetration so give all of those a go there are a few other things that affect um, your enjoyment of anal sex you might like to consider that penetration with the full length of the cock or dildo doesn't have to be the goal so if you feel that little pain barrier just focus on those first couple of inches and play with sort of slowly bringing just the tip in and out that can feel really pleasurable as well using plenty of lube is absolutely vital during anal sex because unlike the vagina the anus doesn't self lubricate however the kind of lube you use is important water-based lube will get absorbed into the skin more quickly than silicone lube and it turns into this kind of glue basically it's not a nice sensation um, i recommend a high quality silicon based lube such as pure you'll find a link to that in the video description and then hygiene fears are often a subconscious cause of tension in the body when it comes to anal play. So just making sure that you clean and prepare beforehand can help to alleviate those concerns. Ultimately though, sometimes a bit of poop does appear. It's not a disaster. Just have a box of tissues or some wet wipes to hand and that will quickly um, help you clear that up. Other than that, I suggest always using gloves for anal massage and you might like to put the condom on all the toys or anything else that might be used internally. So I hope these tips uh, help you to continue exploring and enjoying anal sex with less pain and more pleasure. If you try them out, let me know in the comments what kind of effect they have on your sex and intimacy. If you want access to more direct coaching and guidance on topics like this, as well as the opportunity to put your questions to me directly, you can now sign up for membership to my channel, which includes a monthly live stream event here on YouTube. If you click in uh, the video link in the top left corner to hear more about that. Finally, please remember to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you want more videos that help you to feel more relaxed and confident with touch, intimacy and pleasure.